Hello everybody, this is Lupumlo Joka, founder of Global Leadership Consultants and author of The Ultimate Leadership. Welcome to the first episode of Rising Stars. And just in case you're wondering about what Rising Stars is and why you're watching this episode, where you're watching it, Rising Stars is a community and a platform of leaders from on-campus to off-campus students, particularly at Nelson Mandela University, that want to grow, that want to impact each other, and that ultimately want to impact the world. So there will be a few episodes that we'll be uploading from time to time, so do stay tuned in. And uh, share the episodes with your friends and your colleagues and your parents and whoever you think can benefit from the content that we are sharing. Now on this particular episode, we will be looking at the Great Transition. The Great Transition. A lot of you who might be watching this are first-time, first-year students. You've just now transitioned or you are still in that journey, in that process of transitioning from high school to university. Now these are two different worlds. They have two different mentalities, two different mindsets, and they require two totally different behaviors from all of us. And today we have Anthea Claire Adams, uh, who is an alumni of Nelson Mandela University. I don't know why she's not smiling. An alumni Hi. of Anthea of, of Nelson Mandela University. And uh, she'll be uh, answering some of the questions that we had, seeing that she was a student that had a great time and that actually graduated from this prestigious university. Anthea, thank you for coming and being with us and welcome to the program. Hi, it's so lovely to be here. The first question I have for you is um, looking at your first year when you were studying at Nelson Mandela University, when you reflect and think back, how would you describe your experience as a first year student? Wow, my first year was messy. My first year was messy. It's the whole you were transitioning from in high school, you're so dependent, yeah. you have your parents, you have everyone, everything is kind of just there for you, you feel safe. Yeah. And coming into this new space, it was just a year of adjustment, yeah. plain and simply put. It was the newness of it all, the anxiety of the workload, there's this beautiful image of finally I have some freedom. Yeah. Um, so plain and simply put, it was a year of adjustment and forced growth. Mm. Um, and forced growth, growth. Forced growth. Growth that you weren't necessarily ready for, but mm. you needed to grow up now. Mm. So in my first year, it was a year of a lot of adjusting, a lot of growth, um, a lot of learning, a mm. lot of surprise turns, curveballs. Um, but yeah, no, first year is definitely yeah. It's something. Yeah. It's something. I, I just saw that you went back now for the first And literally I I I went back and I'm seeing Yeah. Messy, messy, but but essentially it was good. Yeah. It was good. Yeah. And and what I like about you is, you know, that you, you're making waves in the corporate space, you're doing so well for yourself and you're a graduate. Uh, you know, you know that was formed by the experiences that you had at Nelson Mandela University. Now you've mentioned so many things that I'd like to zoom into. Forced growth, I think that's like a very important uh, concept to sort of unpack. Um, adjustments, because now you're adjusting from that high school mindset of depending on your parents and blah blah blah, and now you have this uh, newfound liberty. Um, let's zoom into maybe four mistakes that you that you would say you made as a first year student. Let me not assume. Did you make any mistakes? Oh yes, no, there were definitely more than four. But if I were to zoom in to four, if I now have to say two academic and two social, yeah. just to like give you uh, two mistakes I made academically was Nelson Mandela has this. Um, I don't know if they still have it, but this policy that you can still make DP even if you miss two classes. So, mistake that I made was I took those, you can miss these classes. Um, to a whole nother level. To a whole nother level. I took it as like a rite of passage to just not go to class. Mm -hmm. And some classes never had registers. So in those, I just would never go sometimes. Mm -hmm. And what I learned was that 
when I did not attend those classes for some reason, those were the days the lecturers would decide to like give the most important information. Yeah. And come the next lesson, I was completely lost. So that was mm. one of the big mistakes I made was I forgot to show up. Or not I forgot, I just I chose not to you show up. You deliberately decided not I to show up. I deliberately decided and chose not to show up. Mm. Another mistake that I made was that I still had that high school mindset of you stick your hand up in class, people are going to laugh at you for asking a question. Mm. So I had like this fear to ask my lecturers mm. questions in when rage, I was stuck, yeah. when I didn't understand. I kind of pulled back and mm. started spiraling in my own head instead of just asking questions. So those were like two of the biggest mistakes that I made academically. Yeah. Socially, one of the mistakes I made was I absorbed the new idea of freedom mm. without being completely ready for it. So yeah. I went everywhere where there was a nice time. Yeah. Um, even whether I didn't want to go personally, I was there mm. purely because it was happening. So I want to be happening. Um, I think there was a lack of authenticity mm. on my part because I just went where everyone was going mm. instead of what I wanted to do. So mm. that was a mistake that I made socially. Another thing was I was too trusting. Mm. Um, when you're in first year and you meet all these different people, it's like, oh, she's cool. Yeah. So you don't necessarily realize that not everyone has your best interest in heart. Yeah, yeah, um, but yeah. those were four of the big mistakes wow. that I made, I think. Wow. I mean, you, you mentioned two. Um, besides the academic, the social ones, the, the one of um, the freedom, you know, um, coming into a freedom that you're not ready for. So how would you say, you know, how, how do I know as a first year student, in fact as a second year or third year student, that I'm not ready for this freedom? So, so are there any things or factors that you, that you would say, you know, look for this, this and that, and that will tell you that actually you're not ready for this level of freedom? Or in fact, let me ask it this way, how can we make ourselves, or how can the people that are watching this that are first years, um, you know, ready themselves, so to say. How do they make sure that they are ready for the freedom that is coming? I think the easiest and the most honest way that I can answer that is the the way that you're going to know whether you're ready for this freedom. Or, let's not put it as freedom, let's say you're going to know you want to do this, you want to go to said event, you want to be here and there, yeah. is if you want to do it yourself mm -hmm. and that your decision wasn't influenced by someone else and there wasn't any pressure and any of, of you know, that, mm. that pressure that comes with, with, with varsity and meeting yeah. new people. So I think for me, um, I absorbed the new freedom, um, but I wasn't ready for it. By that I mean, I wasn't being completely authentic with myself. Mm. Like, do I want to go couldn't handle to, it. I couldn't handle it. Let's, let's just say I couldn't handle <laughs> it. I was, I was doing, yeah. everything that everyone was doing and yes it was fun and yes I'm sitting here fully in one piece mm. but those you know some of the choices that I made led to yeah. certain things happening whereas had I just said I still didn't actually want to be here mm. today that could have been prevented yeah. so I think um, you just have to pace yourself yeah. pace yourself at your own pace mm. do things at your own pace don't do things because everybody else is doing it mm. um, it's a lot to take in it's lovely it's a nice freedom it's not a bad thing at all it's nice but you have to be able to pace yourself mm. the final question I have for you before I let you go is um, you know there's this whole thing of coronavirus uh, students 21st not even 21st but 2021 first year students um, you know, are not like 2020, 2017, 2015, 2012, you know, first year students. Yeah. They are online, you know. Um, so, in order for us to help them transition, because even though they are online and they might not be attending lectures, and, you know, I met a student um, that just got to Nelson Mandela University who told me he's been studying for six months, he's doing really, really well. Number one, he's never met any of his classmates. Number two, he doesn't know the lectures. So everything is just online. So the, the question I then have, the final question I have 
how do we help those people transition? Because my fear is if you're not meeting lecturers, if you're not meeting friends, because I think that that social aspects of varsity is also an important component and, and um, you know, an important thing that will attribute or contribute rather to your growth as a person and as a leader. So how do we assist those people, those type of people, 2021, first year, first year students transition in their minds to now I am a university student. I have to be more responsible. I have to uh, better manage my time. I have to look after my body. I have to, uh, you know, be in this thing. You know, this is, um, you know, not the time to just go out and party. I have to know that I have to make certain sacrifices. I have to pass. Uh, you know, I have to meet new people, build relationships. How do we help them? What, what, what would you say to people that are watching this, that are listening? that will push them to the next level and help them to transition up here. Is there advice that I would give 2021 first year students is that number one, remember why you chose this path. Because I think the why is what's going to fuel you mm. throughout your, 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 your varsity year. Mm. Um, remember why you chose this path. Number two, remember to show up. Mm. always show up um, number three I think you need to find a balance between your social and your academic life yeah. don't throw yourself too far into the academic life that you're drowning yeah. and you can't cope and don't throw, yeah you know what I mean don't throw yourself too yeah. far into the social life that you completely fall behind with your academic life yeah. find a balance that works for you and stick to it mm. number four Realize that your lecturers aren't scary. They aren't as scary as they seem. And ask questions. When you're stuck, ask. I think this whole thing is a mindset. So mm. you need to remember why. And yeah. Yeah. Thank you so much for spending your time with us and sharing those nuggets of wisdom. Uh, well, that's it for today. Friends, watch out for the second episode that will be coming out soon. This is Rising Stars and my name is Lukumla Joker. Thank you for watching. Welcome to the first episode of Rising Stars. And then we'll have like a ooh -ah. I'm sorry, I don't know why I did that. <laughs> I think we should include that there. <laughs>